two fatal crashes of the brand new Boeing 737 MAX 8, months apart, and every day it seems there are new troubling revelations. The Federal Aviation Administration is in charge of making sure this plane is safe. But now there are reports the FAA said it didn't have enough money to check out all of the plane systems with its own employees. So they asked Boeing engineers to police themselves. A controversial move, but one that has some defenders. There is always a risk of delegating some of your direct certification authority over the aircraft design, but you need the manufacturer's expertise. They know their product better than anyone. Investigators are trying to determine if a new system was responsible for downing both planes. Boeing put in new sensors in the autopilot system, but it didn't tell the airlines or the pilots that it was installed. When they did, after the first crash, they told the pilots to do a voluntary class on their iPads to learn about it, all while insisting the airlines shouldn't have their pilots train on a simulator, which would have been expensive. A simulator is the nearest thing you can have to actually having it happen, and they're critical in any pilot's uh, deep tissue understanding of their aircraft. Should this plane have been certified? That is something the Transportation Department says it will now investigate, along with Congress and the Justice Department. In the midst of all this, the White House has announced their pick to lead the FAA, former Delta Airlines executive and pilot Stephen Dixon. If confirmed, he'll be walking into an agency long overlooked, now under fire. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.